Hey guys, um, sorry about the the few and far between videos, but you know the, these realizations or connections don't happen like every day for me. <laughs> Plus, I'm busy, uh, but I always do enjoy taking the time coming out here and you know just talking to you guys or with you guys because you guys will reply in the comments and you know. Uh, communicating what I have discovered or I have uh, connected for myself at least for my own uh, perspective so let's discuss a little bit more about the the louche aspect and then we'll go from there okay so now many are under the impression that this is a negative louche farm um, the whole system we're in and while that may be partially true because we are potentially at the lower aspect of the emotional spectrum or emotional or dimensional uh, vibrational spectrum because we have the earth the physical material plane the etheric the astral the soul and so on and we're at the tail end of that and this is mainly designed to cause negativity or really is designed to cause suffering but now let's analyze both aspects of that because it's not simply in the form of the negative uh, emotion per se right which we have talked about in other videos but let's go a little bit more in depth so the human body is energized from both sides of these emotions not just the negative and not just the positive actually because it feels good to feel good but it can also feel good to feel bad it's still an energetic um, uh, alleviation no, or an energetic increase and we can see that with anger fury mode right that's that flame the fire arises in arises in us in fury and promotes action promotes fight right promotes energy uh, the adrenaline as well which uh, can be the flight or fight response which can be attributed to the one of the lowest forms or even um, depression would be a, a low form, the, one of the lowest forms. But even that energizes the person or the spirits with that person. But the body, essentially, because it's a different type of mental energy that it's extracting, extracting from that emotion, right? And then, of course, I don't think I need to explain the positive ones. But again, what is emotion? Um, it's a first a vibrational energy, right? or an energy in motion. So it's energy, emotion is energy. And this emotion is largely defined in the astral plane, right? The astral plane is the one embodying all of these emotions. Um, and it's what people are tapping into when experiencing that. It's, it's a direct connect, uh, connection which is why their emotions can be considered entities themselves because they're existing in that astral plane. And we know that the astral plane is um, constructed of many layers from negative to positive. So the energetic body is feeding on that constantly, right? So if we can say that the energetic body, the astral body is feeding on that, then so are these entities or even further than that the Elohim and the architect of this matrix is using that as energy and motion to keep everything flowing to keep the matrix running right so every time you experience a great success you're happy here goes your emotional levels here goes the sine wave spike all the way up and then it's followed by an equal and opposite reaction down below the neutral level and there we get the sine wave or the snake going up and down right we discussed this now in terms of the emotion and what people attribute to the actual what people attribute to the true god is love right and they seek to be more loving they seek to have more positive emotions right the whole love and light to experience spirituality they they want to be more loving right so we can say that the what we know as the spark the spirit resides within the soul which resides within the heart 
because the heart is the receiver, not not the generator. Although, no, I wouldn't say it's the generator. It's like it's a receiver. Like the brain is a receiver of thoughts. The heart is a receiver of these emotions, specifically the neutral and higher ones. Because some people's soul, with the spirit inside, resides lower than that in the solar plexus, right? So that's the more negative emotions, right? So then it forms a loop of going from up to down, up to down, up to down. But we've seen what we've just described as the emotional plane being the astral plane. And that is not where the soul resides. The soul has its own level, right? It's the it's actually defined as the intellect. But that's again, that's not fully the spirit either because it is said that the spirit or the noose was put within the soul and the soul had to connect to the physical lower body through what is known as the astral plane, the lower mental body, and then the etheric plane, okay? So these are the stages. So if we know that emotion, especially the emotion of love, is not the defining characteristic of the soul but rather what's closer to that is intellect reasoning discernment then it doesn't make sense that being all loving and all positive would be the way to the spirit right the spirit is actually clouded again by the soul and then by the emotional astral body then by the etheric body and then by the physical body right but what's being generated are these thoughts and emotions which are intertwined clouding the discernment of the spirit whether negative in the solar plexus or positive in the heart center so that means being in the heart center the heart the receiver of these emotions is not logically the way closer to the one true source again it's energy these emotions are energy and they're clouding they're uh enveloping the spirit okay so that means it would need to move up and so then we have to ask then what are the characteristics of of the spirit or the soul first right but we want to get straight to the spirit because even jesus said let's see how how was it it wasn't it's not that um he had to be all he said to be he was preaching to be all loving it wasn't that because he said you must first love thyself you must or you must love thyself as thy neighbor you must sorry you must love thy neighbor as thyself which means you must first love thyself to know that and in order to know that you can't just love first right so you, you can't love first you have to know how to love first so that means love is existing as a succession of knowing of gnosis so that means going through love first is actually false because you don't know what true love is and you're going through the emotion first you're going through the conditional love first before knowing thyself so this knowing this gnosis has to be achieved first you must go out of this fake love of the, of the heart which loves which is the love of passion love of arrows right we feel like i said I mentioned in the last video these passions towards activities towards people family members whatever we're passionate about them or caring about them compassionate about them right compassionate towards them but we must move out of that and then the the next level would be the logos or the throat the word the spoken but the soul again is the intellect it's this the, the mental activity the higher mental body Right? It's, it's these higher uh, abilities to, let's say, discern, to critically think. I hope that's a fun. Right? You're critically thinking. You're tapping into the soul's access to intellect. It's not information like we find in the cosmic memory of things, which people experience in NDEs, where they tap into the cosmic memory, the Akashic records, which is in likely the highest or the higher levels of the positive astral realms, right? That's where the information is stored. Just like the body stores, the mind stores, the universe stores information, experiences, lessons, right? And I'll get into another video potentially why I think that is. 
I still have to connect some more dots in that area. But the soul is an intellect, which is around here, let's say, in the brain area that is receiving that intellect. But even further than that, the spirit would be an awareness. Or rather, the, the one half that we have, the spark being the questioning principle, tapping into the intellect, the discernment, right? You're questioning, so you need to discern the information, discern um, thoughts, and then become aware of those. That's the second half, the feminine principle. So you have the masculine and the feminine principle uniting here outside the body, potentially or whatever that may happen, where the, the connection with the actual spirit, the higher self, what we just define as the higher self in newer, new age circles, then can happen, right? Again, it's not this outside thing where you need another person to connect with you, which then, whoops, induces some sort of spiritual increase and uh, vibration. Because again, we are not working in the realm of vibration. We're trying to work outside of that, outside of the matrix. The matrix is containing the snake, the vibra vibratory elements. Okay, so again, focusing on being more loving, being more light, more these things, is not going to get you outside of the snake's pattern. It's simply going to get you to the top of the mountain, right? But you must essentially get into the clouds, into the atmosphere outside of the earth, if we can continue with that analogy. And in this place, right, they say a tree cannot grow to heaven without having its roots in hell. So that means you have to essentially be aware of both aspects because by negating one aspect, you're saying, okay, I'm going to be all loving and all kind and all, no matter what you do to me, I will not um, in any way defend myself or in any way... Um, let's say, uh, um, I don't know, respond, okay? But the true master, if we can even say that, has mastered that ability because once a certain button is pushed, that love and light is kind of like a band-aid, it's kind of like a shield, right? So once that shield is broken and penetrated through whatever various triggers or traumas still active, then that beast comes back out and it becomes uncontrollable because you haven't integrated that you haven't integrated both sides and it's not about doing good and doing a little bit of evil and like like the masons do it's about transcending both aspects and um understanding their lack of need for them right so it's, it's about transcending both of these emotions of these this good and bad so that when one happens doesn't affect you another happens doesn't affect you you're still um in that pure state right of the higher self and while you may give yourself freedom to experience them you know they're not defining you you don't attribute your egoic personality to oh well you see i'm very loving and kind and you know just because uh, nothing's pissing me off right now i'm always loving kind kind person but you know now i'm not allowed to get pissed off ever again uh because you know my identity is that I'm loving and kind and I'm like basically like Jesus right so that's e that's ego you haven't transcended the, the mask right you just put on a mask and said yeah I'm, I'm really happy and however long that lasts even that bliss that people experience that that fades right because it's an energetic component it's not everlasting it it was caused it was induced and it's vibratory Whereas the higher self, this example might sound funny, but it makes me think of Goku from uh, Dragon Ball Super and his autonomous ultra instinct state, where he's just not even thinking anymore, but simply acting from this higher force, right? This higher spirit, which is the well, in that uh, show, it's still energetic, but when the higher self potentially would come in it's like you're fully connected to the the one true source right and that's acting through you now you are its conduit because you have merged with your true self right so the ego personality takes a back seat and is now not um 
the controller and not able to be manipulated by fate astrology right personal characteristics or these um, entities so it's no longer a subject of fate but it is fully aware and simply doing so when it is doing it's not doing when it is acting it's not with a preconceived notion of love but it knows what love is because it has gnosis and it can freely act from that because it's ever fulfilling okay so that's how i've come to understand these things let me know what you think in the comments leave a like if you enjoyed the video subscribe for more relevant content and i'll see you guys next time okay take care